Welcome to my channel Chemistry Made Simplified with NEAT. I am Dr. Lakshmi Subramaniam with a PhD in Chemistry. Today I have come with some excellent trick from surface chemistry. So before we move on to the trick, I would like you to share, like and subscribe to my channel. So now we will see what is adsorption. So you all know adsorption is the adhesion or sticking of molecules or atom to a surface. Now you can see here a free molecule if it is approaching a surface. I have shown this with a simple diagram so that it will be very easy for all of you to understand. So if the free, if the bone between the free molecule and the surface is very weak, then what do we call that? It is called physical adsorption or physiosion. So actually adsorption is of two types. So when the bond is weak, then we call it physical adsorption or physiosorption. Now, suppose you can see another case where a free molecule is coming to the surface and the bond between them is a strong one. So, that case we call it a chemical adsorption or chemisorption. So, in this case it is a very strong bond. So, now we will move on to a trick. So, first again I would like to repeat what is adsorption? It is the adhesion of atom to a surface. Now, you can see here in this figure like a molecule is approaching to the surface for bond formation let it be weak bond or strong bond and here what happens is that when a bond is formed it results in the release of energy so what is uh, what do we call when energy is released we call it an exothermic reaction so here Delta H. What is delta H? Enthalpy. It is the enthalpy of a system. Delta H means enthalpy of a system. So delta H is negative because when energy is given out, delta H will be negative. You remember this point. So in the case of adsorption, since it is an exothermic reaction, delta H is negative. Now, what is meant by spontaneous reaction? Reactions taking place on its own releasing free energy so we call that free energy gives free energy so whichever reactions takes place on its own giving out free energy is called uh, that uh, spontaneous reaction and we have got that example that is adsorption so here also delta g is negative so remember for a spontaneous reaction like adsorption delta g is negative now for non spontaneous reaction like reactions carried out by external factors in those cases delta G will be positive. So finally here I will show you like before adsorption you can see that the molecules are arranged like random or so you see it's in some sort of disorder it's not a neat arrangement. So here greater degree of randomness or disorder we call it entropy. So remember enthalpy and entropy are different. So suppose see if after adsorption you can see that the molecules are arranged neatly here. So after adsorption what happens? Entropy will decrease. So delta S. Delta S is change in entropy is negative. So from this what do we understand? We found out that three things delta H, delta G, delta S. These are always negative so for uh, exam remember if you are asked about delta h delta g and delta s you can easily write these are all negative so this is an easy trick to remember that these three things like enthalpy then gives free energy delta g then uh, finally delta s entropy these three are negative so don't forget the simple trick and i'll be coming with another trick from surface chemistry so that you all will find it really easy for your NEAT exam and thanks for watching this video.